Alright, so sorry if this video is a little shaky, I don't have a tripod, but today I'm going to show you guys my college bookshelf. So I've just set up a light to see if maybe that will make the lighting a little bit better. Um, so this is my college bookshelf. There aren't that many books on it right now because most of my books are at home and not all of my books from college are here. Just some books that I have the year, here this year. So now I'm going to zoom in and go shelf by shelf. In the right corner of the top shelf here I have some souvenirs from friends and some rosaries. Then I have some dried roses in mason jars and a cross. And then right here I have some pins. Never judge a book by its movie, love books, and another little heart. So on the left of the second shelf here, sorry about the shakiness, I have a stack of books mostly on mythology and anthropology. The top one here is Edith Hamilton's Mythology. Then I have Ways and Lamon's Arthurian Chronicles. Then I have an anthropology book called Magic, Witchcraft, and Curing. Then I have the book that I hauled last week, which is Joseph Campbell's The Hero with a Thousand Faces. Then I have The Mist of Avalon by Marion Zimmer Bradley. I have not read this yet, but I'm looking forward to it. I have The Chronicles of King Arthur. And I have this wonderful book that I found in a used bookstore called Folklore, Myths, and Legends of Britain. It's really beautiful. Looking inside this wonderful book, there are tons of wonderful, wonderful things in here. This second stack on the second shelf has this beautiful journal that I got in Florence, a handbook of prayers, the rest of these are sort of psychology and inspirational books. This is Quiet by Susan Cain. The Power of Introverts in a World That Can't Stop Talking. Daring Greatly by Brene Brown. How the Courage to be Vulnerable Transforms the Way We Live, Love, Parent, and Lead. Now Discover Your Strengths by Marcus Buckingham and Donald Clifton. And Take the Risk by Ben Carson. And on the bottom there we have a Chicago 2011 photos. Uh, this was just when I was first coming to college, and I was seeing just what is here to look at. And on the right of the second shelf here, I just have some journals and some religious stuff and a rosary. Moving down to the third shelf, I have The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Dark Triumph by Robin Lefevers. Grave Mercy, the first book in the series by Robin Lefevers, Mastiff by Tamora Pierce, the third book in the Becca Cooper trilogy, and Tamora Pierce is one of my very, very favorite authors. And then right down here I have uh, the complete medical Spanish book for practicing medical Spanish. Moving over to the middle of the third shelf, I have Los de Abajo by Mariano Azuela, Las Memorias de Mama Blanca by Teresa de la Parra, El Español de América by John Lipsky. The Italian Renaissance. On Liberty and Other Writings by J.S. Mill. Why Some Things Should Not Be For Sale by Deborah Satz. And finally, <laughs> The Knee Crisis Handbook, which I've been desperately turning to to try to help with my knee injury, but it hasn't really been helping much. <laughs> Moving over to the right side of the third shelf, I have some movies here. I have the X-Men Trilogy, the Dark Knight Trilogy, and two of the Lord of the Rings movies. Um, the second one I don't have because it's lost somewhere in my house at home. I have my sketchbook. And I have some ukulele books. This one is Loot to Uke, Early Music for Ukulele. Jake Shimabukuro's Peace, Love, Ukulele. 20 Spanish Baroque pieces arranged for uke. And classical ukulele. And then below that I just have a binder with more ukulele music in it. Finally, on the bottom shelf here, I have 
some more ukulele things. And then some piano music. I have Les Mis, Pirates of the Caribbean, Mamma Mia, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Disney Love Songs, some lesson books, and another binder here with more piano music. And then over on the left here, I just have two of my textbooks, Biological Psychology and Physics. So that is all for my college bookshelf tour. There aren't that many books here, but the rest of them are at home. And I'm excited to get home in about a month to get to my other books.